Welcome to the fifth installment of CIO Career Coach. This season, we're reviewing the competencies that today's most successful CIOs are using to lead IT in the digital age. Today, we're talking about shadow IT and how CIOs can shift their approach from trying to rein in a pesky problem to rethinking shadow IT as end user innovation. 10 years ago, the term shadow IT described the staff that your business partners hired themselves to develop their own solutions. But today, with cloud services, shadow IT is a much larger concept. It occurs whenever a business partner buys a cloud application without consulting IT. But shadow IT is a concept that should not exist in the new era of IT. When technology is as important to a company as people, finance, or even oxygen, the us and them divide between IT and its business partners has to go. When technology belongs to everyone, the IT organization needs to relinquish its totalitarian grasp over the purchase, development, and support of technology. At the same time, rogue IT can quickly create problems with security and cost, so CIOs must find a way to balance business innovation with the need for standards and compliance. Here's how some CIOs are approaching the challenge. One, provide an end-user development platform. When Rob Lux joined Freddie Mac as CIO in 2010, he inherited more than 2,000 applications that end-users had commissioned themselves, many of which suffered from production problems. To strike the right balance between performance and the end-user's desire to run their own technology, the IT team came up with an innovative idea. IT would manage the most critical enterprise applications themselves, but they would also provide an enterprise platform to run the rest of the end user applications. This meant that regardless of who developed the application, it would run on a secure enterprise platform. To quote Rob Lux, if end users want to build applications themselves and they aren't critical to the enterprise and they aren't SOX related, why do we care? Why do we need to control everything Let's let our end users do their jobs. Two, crowdsource innovation. When you let go of the notion that IT must control all technology development, you have the potential to open the floodgates on innovation. East Sundaram, CIO of JetBlue, regularly invites crew members to lead major technology initiatives. To quote Sundaram, the traditional CIO mindset has always been, it's my silo and you can't come in. But IT is no longer a skill set, it's a toolkit. And my job as CIO is to give everyone access to the toolkit. When you build a platform that allows you to crowdsource innovation, then anybody can be a developer. Jim Fowler, CIO of GE, agrees. CIOs can no longer keep technology innovation all to themselves, to quote him. We are seeing an emerging workforce of self-helpers. College graduates are coming into our companies with the assumption that they don't need an IT organization. They can figure out how to digitize their work themselves. To stay relevant in this new world, CIOs need to provide these self-helpers with the right platforms and guardrails. They need to be seen as a catalyst and not a speed bump. Three, let go of control. It's no wonder that CIOs want to control all of the technology in their companies. After all, when you're responsible for security, cost, and performance, it's hard to let business partners build and run technology themselves. But if CIOs are going to succeed in a world where IT is the business, they have to learn to let go. Bruce Lee, CIO of Fannie Mae, agrees to quote him, soon enough, we will see chief data officers cleaning and serving data and pulling those functional roles away from applications teams. The worst mistake a CIO can make is trying to accumulate all of a company's IT skills inside the IT organization. To sum up, shadow IT in reality is just a nuisance. It's a pain to find yourself responsible for applications that you didn't build. But much more important, then the operational challenge that Shadow IT creates is its metaphorical significance. When we reframe Shadow IT as end user innovation, we not only allow IT to be the business, we encourage the business to be IT. To lead in the digital era means tearing down the walls between IT and our business partners, 
so that we tap great ideas and innovative solutions regardless of where they emerge. Thanks for watching today's episode of CIO Career Coach. Next up, creating an IT investment culture.